What's going on, everyone? My name is Joseph Reynolds at Violent Money TV. Today joining me is a man that took the PFL by storm last year. He came in, he was in the cage, and he was soon quickly out of it after a great finish. Obviously, back again now on the PFL Challenger Series. How are you feeling for it, bud? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm fucking buzzing for it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I was kind of a bit surprised. I got the opportunity to get on it. Um, I thought I was going to be fighting in Europe. Uh, and then I heard before Christmas. I, I'm actually not about it a while, in fairness. But uh, I just I only got me a pound last week. But I knew I was going to be fighting in Florida. So uh, when I heard, I was like, "Fucking hell, Jesus!" You know what I mean? I was like, "That's that's class." You know what I mean? They they pushed me. They they got me me visa and all sorts. They made everything so easy for me, so handy for me. So I, I couldn't have couldn't have asked for anything to go even more smoothly. Now it's I have the date. I have an opponent, and uh, yeah, I'm fucking buzzing, man. I'm ready to go. I'm, I've been, I've been, you know what I mean. I'm a very driven person, so I always like to have fights on the go, ready to go. So this is just another one for the record now, and uh, beat this lad who's in front of me, and then keep leveling up. That's the plan, anyway. Yeah, and as well, we, we take a look, obviously, at your debut fight in the PFL. It seemed like after that fight, obviously, the Irish MMA scene, they already knew all about it, but the PFL scene really took to you. It seemed that PFL did as well, the, the, the amount of promotion, the amount of attention that was around your name. Obviously, since the fight had died down a little bit since the time it was, but in terms of looking at all the new people that have sort of got on board, following your journey, and then just sort of difference from now being in the PFL, what's that been like for yourself? Yeah, it's been it's been good. I'm mean, obviously getting a lot of good, a good press now, good attention, and uh, you know what I mean. It makes it makes me feel like uh, you know what I mean. All the times I've risked it in the cage and all the hard work I've put in is it's all been worth it. And I'm slowly but surely getting to a good position where I'm getting a lot more attention, getting a lot more people looking at me for supporting me, uh, looking at me fights, and uh, you know PFL seem to be backing me. They seem to be. Uh, you know what I mean? They seem to be promoting me a lot and they're pushing me. So if they're willing to do that with me, then I'm willing to go the extra mile for them. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be coming and looking to bring it every time I fight because, you know what I mean? If they if they have my back, I have their back. So that's the way I see it. So uh, every time I have a fight, I'm going to come out and perform. Like it's it's like that million dollar fight. I want to make sure that I can uh, go out, gain a lot of fans, keep it entertaining and uh, more importantly, get to finish. You know what I mean? That, and once I'm doing that, I think... Uh, in itself, my fans will enjoy that, and uh, I'll, I'll have a lot more uh, new fans in the meantime. Yeah, and then taking a look at your opponent, Zachary Hicks, that you've got for this upcoming bout, if you've had the chance to sort of look at him, what do you feel as though he brings to the table, and where do you see yourself sort of excelling in that fight? Um, I think he he's kind of similar to my last opponent, Ben Ellis, in a way. I think, uh, you know what I mean, he'd be looking to grapple more so from what I've seen of his fights. I only watched a few clips of him uh, briefly didn't didn't spend too much time on it. I just wanted to get a gist of what his what his game is about. And yeah, he seems like more of a of a grappler, like a wrestling kind of looks to shoot for a takedown or get the body lock up against the fence and break lads down. He looks good good and scrambly from bottom. So you know what I mean? It'd be hard to pardon me, sorry, it'd be hard to get top control on him and uh and, and maintain top control. But uh I like I, I aspire lads like that every day. Monday to Friday, I aspire very, very good grapplers who will show me everything that he can and 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 has. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be nothing, nothing new to me. Um, I just see him. I see him shooting for takedowns. That's the way I see him going. Unless he wants to prove me wrong and have a strike him more, but I just don't see him doing it. I think. Uh, I think once I light him up on the feet a bit, he's gonna to want to grapple with me. So. I'm just going to be well drilled, well prepared, well rehearsed. Uh, like I said, I spar quality grapplers every day. It's really strong lads, great wrestlers, lads who are great in the clinch, lads who are great at smothering you and breaking you down. So it's nothing new that I'm that, that I've haven't seen before, and I'm well prepared against them already. I, I like I said, I see it every day, Monday to Friday. So uh, yeah, I'm got, I'm just going to come in, look to kind of have the same approach as the last one. Come in, hit him hard early, let him know he's in a fight, and see if he wants to continue being in that fight if he does he'll, he's going to have to shoot for a takedown and I'll be well prepared for that as I said before I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu I compete at tournaments jiu-jitsu tournaments and I and I win and you know I'm sparring high level lads every day and you know what I mean I, I have a lot riding on me you know what I mean I have a lot of skill momentum everything so uh, yeah I'm, I'm just looking forward to getting in and testing myself again on the more of an international stage in Florida and uh, you, know, you know fucking just go out and Knocking some lads block off. That's that's what that's what I'm looking forward to doing.
Yeah, and you mentioned there in terms of the people that you're training with, obviously, in the last even 12 months, you could say, Irish MMA, it's become extremely prevalent, you know, from an amateur standpoint, from a professional standpoint. In terms of looking at the surging Irish promotion and being a big part of that surging rise at the moment of the Irish MMA, how does it sort of feel to see your country get a lot more respect and then also having so much talent within one country at the moment? Yeah, it's great, man. Because I mean, I've been doing this since I'm tour day, and I'm twenty twenty five now. I'll be twenty six in May. Like, I'm doing this since I'm tour day, and so I'm nearly tour day in years at it. And to see the growth and all that jazz from the from day one to now, you know what I mean? It's been great, and there's a really, really good pool of fighters coming from our here now. Uh, we're all kind of near enough on the same uh, wavelength uh, in terms of our careers. Uh, we've all like similar amount of fights, all break through, breaking through where. Uh, on these big promotions and starting to come up, even the young amateurs uh, right up. You know what I mean? There's there's a really really high level here, and it's it's really good to see that. You know what I mean? We can hang around anyone in the world in terms of the IMFs or uh, just regular uh, amateur fights, uh, pro fights. The whole lot. You know what I mean? We're, we have a solid foundation of skill in this country, and so it's great to be a part of that. It's great to be a part of that surge. It's great to be a part of the new wave of fire that's coming through. So, uh, you know, long may it last. We're, we're, we're a fighting country and, and uh, we always have been. We fought from as long as we can I, I, I can remember, you know what I mean, in history. So, um, yeah, it's great to be a part of this new wave now. And uh, like like that, like you said, there's a lot of good Irish uh, talent now. So I'm just happy to be another one of them and, and look to make it on the, on the, big, in the big stages. Yeah, and then we sort of take a look at your pro career so far, obviously the last six sites you've been in an absolute tear, running through your competition, and obviously now in the PFL and for good reason. But obviously your first two fights as a pro, unfortunately didn't come away with the wins from them. It, it puts you in a tricky position at home. So what was that like? And then to obviously now overcome that uh, uh, and to be in such a great place already in your pro career. Yeah, it was tough, man. I'm not gonna lie. I lost my first fight and it fucking broke me mentally. You know what I mean? Um, after having a really good amateur career. I was about to make the pro debut. Everything was meant to go all smooth, and no, it didn't. Didn't work out for me on the night. Um, I felt, I felt the the effects of it full on. You know what I mean? And uh, I was only young at the time as well. I didn't really know how to deal with my emotions. Didn't know how to deal with myself, my mind. Um, I I got very fucking. I went into like a little bit of a depressive state over it. Uh, wasn't being myself. Luckily, then I ended up getting another fight then. So if that would have been in the July, I ended up getting a fight for the May then the next year. So I had something to kind of give me a kick up the hole and focus focus on. I lost that as well. Split decision. I was like, fucking hell, what am I doing here? Like, how, how what, what, what mistakes am I making? What, what, what's, what is the problem here? And um, I decided just to uh, take a little step back, move up a weight class. Uh, I used to kill myself to make bantam weight and I just my training wasn't focused around my skills it was focused around making weight and you know that was a problem because this is such a skill based sport that if you're just trying to be fit and look the part then you're not going to be going in sharp so yeah I fucking I made the, made the change went up to featherweight got strong got explosive got powerful had less weight to cook could focus more on my skill training less on, on, on losing weight and in doing that now I'm on a six fight win streak with uh five fourth round finishes so it was the best decision I ever made um you know what I mean it's it's uh it's one of them things that like yeah you, you learn from your losses you learn from your mistakes and you have to find a find a new way of of of, of coping with things and I said like my obviously way was to uh to move up a weight class and just try something new if if it didn't work out for me I could have just went back down and that's the way it was but like you said I'm on a tear now six fight win streak so looking to make a seven and you know what I mean each fight I'm, I am I feel more invincible as, as as I win you know what I mean so I just need to keep doing what I'm doing uh, believing in myself primarily um, I think I went through a bit of a dark stage of self self doubt and uh, disbelief in myself you know what I mean uh, obviously losing your first two pro fights not ideal when you have this this dream of being an undefeated fighter and all that jazz like I was really you know what I mean everyone every kid has them dreams to turn pro and be undefeated and blah 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 but I was kind of fortunate as well that I lost me two first pro fights, so I got a taste of that humble pie, and I learned that, you know what I mean, it's not all about what you make it out to be in your head, it's just about being the best you can be as a person, as a fighter every day in life, and I uh, don't see myself so perfect, you know what I mean, I think this this whole undefeated streak thing was weighed into me so much that it almost, it almost deterred me off a different path, but since I lost them fights, 
You know what I mean? I know what it's like to lose, and now I don't want to fucking lose again, basically. You know what I mean? So each fight I'm coming, I'm coming for a finish. I'm coming to knock heads off, and I'm coming for a uh, coming for that uh, fourth round finish all the time. Obviously, it's not ideal if you don't get the fourth round finish. If you get a second round, happy days. Third round, happy days. But the way I want to fight, I want to keep racking them out. For get fourth round finishes, get paid on to the next one. For get paid on to the next one. You know what I mean? And, and try get as many fights in as I can, and I try make as uh, as good as of a stab at this as I can for the next few years. Yeah, and then when you, you you talk about that, obviously coming over that sort of adversity in the South Downs, losing the first two fights, you know, all it takes is one fight to go the wrong way, and M- MMA fans are very quick to turn on someone. But in terms of having that story and being able to bounce back, obviously overcoming the adversity, even outside of MMA, people can sort of draw inspiration from that that story that you've had. And do you feel as though? obviously in the future, or even now, that you sort of want you start to inspire others, obviously, with being able to overcome the obstacles that you did at the start of your pro career? Uh, 100%, you know what I mean? It's like it's a good it's a good testament to yourself if you can bounce back all the time. You always hear the people who are doing well for themselves, winning, and, you know, everything is going smooth. But the minute the shit hits the fan, you know what I mean? They, 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 they lose their marbles. Um, so I was kind of glad that I could show that you know what I mean I, I, even for myself just to, to, to prove to myself that I can come back from you know what I mean the slums of depression for for what I thought I never thought I, I thought I was in a position that I was never going to get out of in my life you know what I mean and I did I proved to myself I believed in myself and it's like this whole thing if I can do it you can do it too you know what I mean it's just the power of the mind is a very strong thing and I think you know what I mean? People will almost overpower themselves for the wrong reasons, whereas I, 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 I decided to overpower myself for the right reasons to get the best out of myself and, and just to believe in myself again, to start feeling like a confident lad and, uh, you know what I mean, start uh, you know, start to get myself back to where I wanted to be and, and, and start challenging for for, uh, for fights and titles and all that jazz that goes with it. And, uh, yeah, man, it's nice, to, it's nice to kind of lead the way in that sense. Uh, hopefully I can inspire others like that. If if they do take a look into me and see what me what me past is like and what I'm coming from and what I've been through, you know what I mean? It's nice to lead the way in, in terms of all that stuff because uh you hear a lot about the good, you don't hear a lot about the bad. So I I'm very open, I'm very honest, and I'll always share share me me, me me story as best as I can to maybe then let others know that you, like if you're like me, if you felt the way I felt, you're not alone and we can you can always get over at the end of it. Like a hundred percent. And then obviously You've got the 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 wind street, the mental fortitude. You, you know, you're a great fighter. People enjoy to see you speaking. They they always want to know you're getting up to. Obviously, in the next twelve months, the, the the momentum, even with a win here, it's only going to keep increasing. In terms of what you'd like to achieve in 2023, what does that look like a little bit for you? Um, at the minute, I just I just want to. What all I want to achieve is to win every fight that I have. You know what I mean? Um, I don't I don't really have a a plan set out for because I don't know what like what way my year is going to go, you know what I mean, um, in terms of, like, if I'm going to, what, where I'm going to fight, when I'm going to fight, who I'm going to fight, so, for now, it's just to, uh, take each fight as it comes, win each fight as it comes, uh, maybe obviously talk to the bosses and stuff like that and see what the crack is, see what they have planned for me and stuff like that, but, I'm just playing it by ear for now, win each fight as it comes, and, uh, maybe fucking, look to, save a few quid, maybe, invest in businesses or something like that, you know what I mean? Just to get something going outside of fighting there, uh, that could be a possibility. But for now, I just want to focus on each fight as it comes, uh, win each fight, and uh, just keep building my profile, man. Keep keep uh, keep trying to tap into that new fan base and uh, try to get more people into me and, and watching my fights. Yeah, and then just one of the few final things for myself. Obviously, I've mentioned this fight, you want to come in there, and the one thing that you're in is getting the finish. But in terms of obviously looking into this fight, what is the ideal way that it goes, or how do you see this fight playing out? Yeah, I just see I see me coming in um, with a lot of forward pressure, landing landing nice shots, landing nice punches, either me catching them and, and hurting them and putting them away on the feet, or me catching them on the feet and him shooting in for a takedown, and maybe me uh, reversing it, getting the submission, or else reverse and getting ground and pound TKO you know what I mean that's what I visualise in my head every time I fight either a clean knockout or them, them panic wrestling and shooting and leaving the neck out or an arm out or whatever it is for me to capitalise on I have the skills to do it I have the sharpness to do it so you know what I mean it's just about me doing what I can do best 
and capitalise on whatever mistakes they make on. Yeah, and then the final thing for myself, I've just spoken there about how you see the fight going, but for any fans that may still not know the name Nathan Kelly, what is it that they can always expect to see from yourself inside the cage? You can always expect to see me walking forward, landing shots, heavy shots, coming for that knockout, coming for that submission, whatever it may be, you know what I mean? I'm always coming to put, come out for a finish and look to put lads away. I don't want, I don't like boring fights, you know what I mean? I've, I've been in one recently enough and after that I've made a vow to never be in one again, you know what I mean? Because I can almost hold myself back when, I got, look, when I'm looking to hang on to someone for three rounds. I think my opponent will probably be happy if he gets gets that type of fight out of me, whereas I'll be fuming if I don't finish him, you know what I mean? And that's going to be the difference between me and my opponent, I feel. So I'm going to be coming out for the, for the finish, looking to put these lads away and looking to make a statement and keep shocking the world one fight at a time. There you go. Well, that is everything from myself. Obviously, Nathan Fletcher. Uh, Nathan Fletcher. Sorry, Nathan yeah. Kelly. <laughs> yeah, that right. Obviously, it's going to be a name you're going to hear for a long time coming. He had a great day in the PFL last year. He took it by storm. And then the Challenger Series as well in Florida. He's going to make America his. Obviously, if you'd like to take a chance to try any sponsors, anything like that, obviously, just feel free to go ahead, buddy. Yeah, I just want to thank everyone who's been supporting me so far. Obviously, the fans have been great. PFL have been great. Um, we sponsor our MC Fields. Uh, it surprised me every week with uh, fresh food, uh, healthy meals, ready to go, keeping me weight in check all the time. Me, uh, strength conditioning coach, Jay, uh, Abs Gym, I'll be team at SBG Ireland and uh, my jiu-jitsu club by using jiu-jitsu. So I'm just going to keep training away, keep keep doing what I'm doing. Hopefully I can get new, some more new sponsors on board if they want to jump on in the process. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it, bro. Looking forward to the, to the journey. I'm looking forward to, uh, as I said, gaining lots of new fans and, and hopefully I will have... Uh, way more after this fight. There you go. Well, that's everything from me. Obviously, Nathan Kelly, thank you very much for your time today. Look forward to the next fight. See you soon, buddy. Thanks very much, Joe. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Pleasure, bud.